Един ми беше изключителен човек, защото имаше една аналитична мисъл. Той беше изключително интелигентен с способност да отстрани дребните неща. Back in 1991, I was serving as head of the legal department of the Bulgarian government. And one day, Dimi Panice, who I didn't know before, rushed in my office, paused at my deck and said, the Prime Minister sent me to meet you and we have a very important task to run. We have to create a private university in Bulgaria, the first private university, American university in Bulgaria. I was more or less shocked because at that time the legislation was still unchanged. The main legislation, main piece of legislation was based on the socialist norms. So in socialist countries there were nothing like a private universities, private schools, private education. So I started explaining that it is impossible, it will take months to change the legislation, etc. etc. blah blah blah. blah. Dimi listened to me a minute, interrupted me and said Good, great, perfect, you have two days to prepare the statutes of the university, all the founding documents. We will meet after two days and really after two days he rushed again as he always did in the office. We examined all the documents and two months later the documents, the resolution for creation of American University passed through the Bulgarian parliament. That was the way the university was created, that was the way Dimi Pipanica always hoped. A lot of the official support that we ABG received uh, in its early years were uh, arranged by uh, either Dimi or the, or the people that Dimi had connections to. Uh, and the, the library itself, it's named after Dimi, but also Dimi was responsible for purchasing uh, the biggest part of the collection of the ABG library in the early years. There was an American college that was closing one of its branch campuses and Dimi arranged for the purchase of that, their entire library collection, lock, stock and barrel, to be delivered to ABG. And so if you're in the basement of the Panitza Library and you pull out one of those old books, you can still see the stamps of the Farley Dickinson University on, on some of these books and that's, that's Dimi's legacy also. The fondest memory that I have of Dimi is uh, during the naming ceremony of Ponitsa Library. This was such a, a wonderful and exciting moment uh, for our uh, library as um, uh, it was uh, the culminating moment of uh, the university's efforts of building a modern academic library. Uh, as Dimi was pulled into different directions, greeting official guests, he yelled at everyone and said, I need to see my people, pointing at us, the librarians. He gathered us around him and his wife, Yvonne, gave us a warm hug, praising our work with gratitude, taking several photos to memorize the moment. Ever since that moment, uh, we were calling Bonitza Library the heart of the university, as his heart would always be part of us. If you start even from the establishment of AUBG uh, and how the impact that this left on the Bulgarian educational system, because Today it's uh, one of the top universities in the country and uh, the alumni base is growing and is truly making a change in Bulgaria and the world. For Dimi, the establishment and the existence of AEBG was like one of the most important things in his life. I mean, you could just sort of feel that radiating from him. He wanted uh, Bulgaria to be a free country and so when the, the changes happened in 1991, Dimi was among the, the fathers of bringing AEBG into existence. It was a board retreat. I, I will call it the board retreat. We just sat down and we started talking. And he said, uh, we need to know each other. We need to know what really we, we, we feel what we are happy about, what we are unhappy about. And Dimi, Dimi cried. 
because he had um, he had his soul in his in his palm in his hand, and he told all his life story about Bulgaria, the time he left, the years of emigration. His biggest pain was that because of that he couldn't finish his education. And maybe this is why he was so very much into it. He, he wanted it for everybody else, for everybody after him. He loved Bulgaria to death. He loved the country. He loved the nation. The people, not the nation. He, along with Stefan Gruff and others, um, understood that because of their great love for Bulgaria, uh, that they wanted to help Bulgaria, not in a small way, not in a, um, a way that's going to do something for me, um, but to make it good for a long time. And he understood that to do that, that you had to have an educated population, that you had to have a population who could think, a population who could solve problems, a population that could plan, um, and that's where he was, that's why he supported liberal arts, I think. He also created the School of Politics, which works successfully now, the Awards for Journalism, uh, the Free and Democratic Bulgaria Foundation, and the name of this foundation actually depicts the main values being believed and the way he saw before the former communist countries for their development. Dimi беше насочен към образование. Той събираше децата по улицата да им даде образование. И това е забележително за него. Неговата цел и с това ни толкова бяхме близки, че държахме и двамата на това като наша голяма цел е образованието. Образованието на младите в България. Той и по-старите имат нужда от образование, но поне младите трябва да получат образование, защото има голям потенциал в българската младеж. Но този потенциал съвсем не е нито използван, нито организиран, нито и колкото можем се опитахме с Диме да помагаме. Той чрез IBG, аз чрез фундацията. По различен начин, но с една и съща цел. Знаеки, че демокрация, това значи хора със знания. И за мен Диме е най-видният българен от съвременната дъл. Познаваш ли Диме Паница? В Париж на едно ниво, на високо ниво, всеки знаеше Диме Паница. Диме и Ивон бяха от високото общество на Париж, навсякъде. Каква беше ролята на Ивон? Те двамата са Ивон много силна Ивон двойка. Беше, беше голяма българка. Тя беше научила български перфектно. И тя му помагаше. Тя, те нямаха деца, нали? Те живееха само за това. Всичко даваха за това. И парите, и времето, нали? Те си починаха двамата, нищо не остана от това. Всичко беше раздадено, всичко беше за България. Тя е, трябва да е не улица Дими Паница, трябва булевар на Дими Паница, трябва в София. Despite all the things he was working on and uh, I would imagine all the, the burden of the big decisions he, he had to be part of, he had a, a lightness to him and he had this deep booming voice and deep booming laughter. Uh, he had this Big, big, booming voice, a baritone voice. His powerful voice. Forever remember the voice. I love to hear this booing, deep voice. <laughs> Cannot be mistaken for, for anybody else. It was this basso, this sort of bass, and it sort of projects, and it just resonates from his chest, and it sort of comes out, and it just declares these things in such a sort of great fashion. And, and the tone, the way that he spoke English, it was also, uh, he spoke, I mean, he was absolutely fluent, of course, but it, it had this sort of 
dark, this tone or this darkness that sort of really made it stand out. I remember once we were on campus and there were buildings of the bar tree and uh, there was some construction vehicle passing by slowly and before we knew it he perched uh, he was perched on the step of that uh, machine and was kind of slowly moving away and he had this Peter Pan kind of posture and, and look in his eye and uh, <laughs> people were very worried about him but he was doing just fine he was uh, really enjoying life an attitude that stays with me and Whenever I feel down, I I often think about how um, how he would handle any situation. He will always remind me of that there are good people who can be strong, who can be forceful, and who can be intelligent at the same time. Enlightened patriotism, enlightened love of your own, which uh, which was special.